Take a chance Live your life for just one night No looking back Cause tonight will make you right See, I heard something similar, but it's Beyonce and Jay-Z, and they're like the Illuminati power couple. I haven't been looking into conspiracy theories, I've just been watching reruns of Family Guy, like for the last six days. She was like, I need a picture of you, and I was like, you have my Instagram. You look like you've just been napping all day. I get their stupid fucking vegan burger, I just keep wishing that it will get better. Yeah, I can't even have the chips, they cook it with the chicken. But it's like a nine inch pizza, so it's like a... It's like a pizza for two people, but realistically it's a pizza for one person. So I told him, okay, just give me a call. And he was like, can we FaceTime? And I was like, I'm not in the mood to FaceTime, but okay. It's like the angle is from like down here. The entire time he was like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I told you I'm depressed. Like I can't, I can't do anything. He was like, why? What's caused it? And I was like, I don't know, just the, the normal stuff, existential dread, um, being alone in the world and realizing how alone I am right now is you know the correlation all of that uh and he was just like oh, okay okay you are the worst you're like the best and worst person to talk to when i'm like like this because he gets it but also he's got like no sympathy you never have any support when you're sitting down he was like why don't you just get a chair and i was like because i live in an l-shaped attic i don't have space for a chair i need this space for activities and for all of my food garbage. Which psychopath orders food every day of the week and then also takes their garbage out every day? Like, come on. There are times when I'll order food and like, I'm so glad that they have the leave at door feature now because I don't even want to go down to collect it sometimes. So I'm like standing there and I'm like watching him pass my house and then I'm like watching him pass my house again. Like, it. <laughs> I just want to call him like, are you an idiot? Like, if you if you can't find houses, you should not be delivering things. <laughs> Left with receptionist. <laughs> like I tried wearing this without a bra and it was just like, I can't wear this without a bra. It's just going to be a boob show. I don't know who cursed me with it. I'm pretty sure it was Ali. Okay, say this without moving your lips. Mm -hmm. I mean, Muhammad has three M's in it. How the fuck are you meant to get away with that with your lips closed? It's called enjoying your hair, dad. What if I put other things in my room? I have been in literal physical pain because I refuse to go to the bathrooms in a bar. I have peed out on the street. <laughs> I would rather do that than use a bathroom in a bar. We left your house, I drank all of the vodka and I can't say no after I've had one drink. Like, okay, no, 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 you, she, she's had enough. And I'm like, no, 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 I can do one more. And then one more became two more and then two more became five more. And then it, there was no vodka left. But she likes hanging out with us while we drink. He takes care of me. So I feel like I can just let loose and do whatever. <laughs> he's an idiot, but he's a nice idiot. Like, I will pour this entire thing onto your salmon. And she was like, okay, fine, do it, do it, do it. And I did it. And she was like, I can't believe you did it. And I was like, you are, you asked me to do it. And she was like, I dare you to drink it from the plate. And then I did. It was teriyaki flavored sake. Faye, this is a wagamama's. You can't just do that. You asked me to pour the shot and then you asked me to drink it. And I did it. Did you know that Pets at Home is open? They, well, they don't have long lifespans, which is good for me because that's a short commitment. Me coming to terms with the idea of losing things because I, I think I really struggle with that. But yeah, I kind of want to go and just impulse buy a hamster. I just want an annoying little shit that I'll trip over all the time in my house. On too many occasions, I have asked for forgiveness rather than ask for permission. Yeah, I'm still super disappointed that he just went ahead and ghosted me. He's in Aries. Yeah, exactly! This is why I don't trust Andrews. I dated two different Andrews who did exactly the same thing. If I really wanted to punish somebody, I would name my child Andrew. I started dating after my first relationship. He was like, hey, I've been I've been really, really busy. I'm so, so sorry. I was, uh, and in the back of my mind, because I've never dated anybody, I was like, oh yeah, that sounds plausible. He was just busy for three months. And he also lived in Reading, which is a place that I absolutely despise. The first thing I noticed about this hotel is the check-in girl looks like she knew him really well. I was dumb. I should have stayed single for a long time. He's like one of those guys who don't have to walk properly because they're so like built. This is the only good thing that's going for me. And she was like, wow, that's sad. 
because I dated a guy just like that and it turned out he was married, he had kids. Instead of me just like blocking and deleting him, what, what I should do is confront him. <laughs> like, um, do you mind covering it this time? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do that. Um, anything for revenge, right? There are six other girls beside you. Yeah. I'm like sitting there and I'm like, there's six other girls? And he was like, yeah, but you're the prettiest of them. And I was like, sure. To this day, to this day, he has not blocked me. But our first date was in a forest. The second guy I dated was an Andrew, it's not my fault. This is why I'm saying, like, if I really wanted to fuck up someone's life, someone else's life, I would name my child Andrew. I don't know what the fuck that saint did, I'm pretty sure he's the saint of Scotland, but fuck him and fuck everyone who names their child that. Like, literally, Alicia, I've dated two Andrews. Alicia literally named them Saint and Sinner Andrew. And the saint is the one that took me to a forest. And any, also, any variation on that name. Andy, Andres, Andrea, any variation of that name, do not trust them. My consultant's name was Andrew. He literally fucked up my life for a whole year. I want to go over to your house and murder your family. I will take your dog and hang it out in the backyard. Never get him on the phone. Had to email him. He'd send me, like, I would need something then and there and he would respond to me in like two weeks. And he has the handwriting of a two-year-old. He wrote it out by hand on like letterheaded paper as if you can't get a letterhead on the computer and then he took a picture of it, he sent it to Susanna who was my co-worker at the time and she printed it out and she showed it to all of us and she was like, read that. Fucking Andrews. Like people out here like screaming about the job. No, you should be worried about the Andrews. If an Andrew touches me, I'm having a full sage bar. Only fuckboys say that. It's not the time to be responding to are you around. I've been watching Family Guy for six days, okay? Leave me alone. He'll just bring his pot noodle along, he'll sit right next to me and be like, you okay? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm just watching Netflix. And he'll be like, okay. And he'll just continue eating. That's it. I'm telling you, he's my work husband. He's the perfect boyfriend. <laughs> Using Facebook. Can you imagine hundreds of mouths slapping at the same time. Why didn't they just take you into the yard and shoot you? Like, I don't. Anytime my mom saw my brother eating like that, she would send him outside. She would literally send him outside. She was like, goats don't live in the house. She'd be like, out, out right now. The doors are open, get out. You need to pay for your mistakes. Get out. Slow walkers and open mouth eaters can all fuck off. Like, do you have nowhere to go? First of all, I can't- you- you have all of your five fucking friends walking all in a row in a two-person street. Do you not have things to do? Do you not have a home to go to? Children to feed? Like, what the fuck? Did you want me to shove you? Because I will. Who- who didn't discipline you as a child? You were hugged too much as a child. Bullying didn't exist for you, clearly. You know what? You know what's really, really annoying? When you date a really tall guy, but he's like slower than you. Yeah, you would expect that they're faster than you. You'd have to like jog to keep up with them. It's half the reason I date a tall guy so I lose some weight while I'm walking around with him. Oh, like, it's so that if you, if you go too far, I know that I can catch up with you. I'd never been so insulted in my life. I just stood there for like half a second thinking like, we're standing on a bridge. I could totally just throw you over right now. Just bloop. No one would ever find you, which is the, the ways that I've dealt with all of the people that I fall out with. Might as well get my money's worth. I literally, I'm just such a mess. I would throw my body into a meat grinder if it had any chance of feeling good. I didn't want a guy to come back to my place, so I agreed to go to his, so just so that he didn't come back to my place. Like, I do not care what happens to me. Like, I genuinely do not, like, it's not even me trying to be, um, like, I've given up on my life. It's just genuinely how I feel about my body and myself. I do not care what happens. I worry about me, but also I don't worry about me. I just, I just want to see what happens. I don't need peer pressure. It's already here. I just needed that final push to just be like, okay, yeah, my friends are peer, peer pressuring me for you to come over. <laughs> Hitler will finally have his vision. <laughs> take out all the idiots, please. I will sacrifice to you, coronavirus. Just take out the idiots. Please, please continue to express your right to die by a deadly virus. Oh, what guy in the glasses? <laughs> Jimmy, run! As long as, yeah, as long as Jimmy can get the temperature and he can whack it in the oven right, I'm happy. <laughs> I, that's half of what I make in a month. It's, no, I'm sorry. It's Ramadan. Shaitan is locked up, apparently. Fuck off. No, can't relate. Reuse, re reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh, dude, they'll just wash it seven times with soil. It's fine. They're just gonna throw it away. 
some Chinese kid sat there for hours making that and he got he got 10 pence because of that you take it and you're grateful it's a free amenity <laughs> I have a whole tray of stuff I have a whole tray of stuff that I've just collected from hotels yeah it's super useful I keep it in my purse because I often don't sleep in my own bed I remember no the reason why I invited you onto that live stream is because some guy was talking shit about you in the live stream and I was like you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna invite Zara into the live stream I also don't understand how Peter hasn't just killed her